tutorial on this brand new single dose mod that I just received. Uh, this is actually by Single Dose Brew. They sent me this to review on my channel. It was sent to me for free, but I will let you know my honest review on this single dose uh, unit here. So this is actually really nice. I don't know if all of you guys are probably fig uh, familiar with the single dose machines out now. Uh, you have the SD40. There's so many of them, the um, turn-in grinders, all different sorts of them. The Atom 75 is such a great grinder. However, the retention rate, uh, the retention that it holds back is actually really bad, uh, especially if you're trying to single dose it uh, for home use. Now I do use this uh, with my company Brewhead Espresso. It works absolutely amazing. However, it really only works good when the hopper is full of beans. So today I'm going to show you how much it truly holds back on retention and I'm going to show you why the single dose uh, mod is really really good for home use. Now if you have the Atom 75 and you do do pop-ups they do make an extended a bigger bean hopper. Uh, I would definitely look into getting that. I don't have that but I am going to be looking into purchasing that. Um, however this is great if you want to buy this espresso grinder for at home use and I'm going to show you a live demo of this now. So thank you guys all so much for tuning into the channel. All right, let me get this camera turned here. And hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. So right now, I'll just run this really quick. So right now there's really no beans inside of the hopper. Uh, except for obviously the retention, but let's just see right here. So I'll run it on a full shot. And you see we have this amount left. So that's actually a pretty decent amount of coffee that's still stuck inside of the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see how much I got just by doing that. So that has zero grams now. All right, so it's holding back 0.5 grams. So that's not too, too terrible. However, that was the second time I purged it. Um, I purged it one last time before the video started. So now I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and tear that. And now what we're going to do, this single dose mod is super easy, super nice to uh, install. And I'm going to show you just how easy it truly is. So first, there's a screw in the back. Now I don't have it on. Uh, for the sake of the video, see some beans falling out there. But I'm going to show you how easy it is. So all you literally do is go ahead and just place it on. And that's it. Super easy, super simple, nice and clean look. But I'm going to show you how much truly this thing holds back. So just going to set this in here, start the grinder. and I'll show you how much. So I just purged it all out. So this is what we're left with, guys. I mean, absolutely insane amount of retention. Uh, without those bellows, it'd be almost extremely hard on a day-to-day -day basis to pull a consistent shots. So let's say you don't wanna purge the machine, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 grams or so. You're gonna have coffee that's been left inside of those burrs overnight and it's really going to change the tasting profile the texture of the coffee the extraction pole and you're just going to go through a ton of coffee can you imagine uh wasting let's see that's 0.5 grams already so we have 1.8 plus 0.5 1.9 plus 0.5 so you're looking at 2.4 grams retained every single day. Now, can you imagine doing that for a whole year, single dosing on this thing? It would be a nightmare. You'd waste a lot of coffee, and that's not something that I know a lot of us probably aren't wanting to do, especially when you buy high-quality coffee. So we're going to try this mod out. We're going to see how well it works, and we're going to see what kind of retention we get when we do our coffee. I got all my dog's toys sitting here. So today's coffee of choice, we are going to be using Good Brothers Coffee. It's their uh, brand new Polar Espresso. So it's a really nice holiday blend, uh, which it says here. I've really gotten some 
really rich, dark chocolatey, caramel uh, texture with it, really good body, and really, kind of like a medium acidity in my opinion. But this is a really good coffee, and I don't know how long it's gonna be around, but it's really good, and you guys should definitely give it a try here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to single dose. After all, that's what this mod is used for. All right, so we're gonna go 18 grams. Now this bean is a little bit of a darker sided roast than what I'm used to. I like medium, but this is probably a medium to dark. Uh, it's not really dark, but it's not really medium. So we'll call it a medium dark here. Dose out about 18 grams. Might be too much, but for the sake of the video, we just really want to see if you have an Atom 75 or you're looking to buy one, does this single dose mod truly help and is it designed for uh, use for at home, which we will find out together. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and dump that. We have 18.1 grams to be exact. Actually, 18.1, 18.2 is kind of going back and forth there. So now what we're going to do, wipe my portafilter, make sure there's no water in it. Hopefully you guys can all hear me well. If you guys can hear me, just, just give me a thumbs up in the chats. Uh, say it's, it's good. I'm trying to work with my mic. Uh, I turned the decibels down as much as I possibly could, um, obviously. All right, so let's weigh the portafilter. So we're at zero. And let's see how much we get before we have to use the mod. So that was 9.6, but it's really because it wasn't really fed all the way through. So we'll do an actual test here. So that's gonna be a good measurement. So we had 18.2, and when we dosed out, now we are looking at 15 grams exactly. So it gave us 15 and it's holding back about 3.2 grams, which is absolutely insane. And like I said, it's just gonna be really hard to single dose with this machine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the bellows. I'll just zoom it out so you guys can see the full picture. So now we're gonna grind it and use the bellows. There we go, perfect. And we are left, move this just so you can see, with 17.9, 18 grams. So it has held back about 0.2 grams. But here, hear me out. Dosed in 18.1, 18.2 is kind of going back and forth on the scale. And we got 18 grams out with using the bellows. Grind quality is not suffered whatsoever. I mean, look how great that grind quality is. Really nice. I mean, it's so nice that you can even do the tap method here and you can really set it into place by doing that. Adam 75 does do a great job. It has really nice uniformity and it's just overall extremely nice. So now what I would like to do is, we don't have to do it, but we're just gonna do a little bit of WDT so let me go grab my WDT tool. So I'm just going to be using the Normcore WDT, which is extremely nice. Nice needles too. And we're going to go ahead and not too fast. And you see it's extremely nice. I mean, just look at the quality of the grind. And we're going to go ahead and tamp. So I'm actually going to be using my Bose electric tamper. Uh, this is my company. He actually uh, laser etched it into this wood. Extremely nice. This is a 58, I believe 58.5. Don't quote me. I believe it's pretty precision though. So now all you do is put it onto the portafilter. Here it go. And you have a perfectly compressed puck every time. So now we're just going to pull a shot here. Uh... I'll put you guys right here. Move you guys over here. And then maybe so you can see the shot. Not that it's extremely important. I'm not trying to dial in right now perfectly. 
just more so trying to get the single dose to see how well it works. And yeah, that totally did not work. And hopefully you all can just zoom in. I'm trying to get it for you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Perfect. Like I said, this is just for testing purposes to see how well it actually works. I will time the shot though because we will pull another one. All right, shot came together pretty nicely. It's looking like a pretty decent shot. We're gonna stop at about 36 grams. So we got 36 grams in about 22 seconds. Shot was pretty quick. Uh, the nice thing about the single dose mod for the Atom 75 and the Atom 75, it has this dial marker, uh, which is right here. So something I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go a little finer. So just turn it about there. I mean, it's very micro adjusted because as soon as you go through, uh, so I will post, uh, Nick, I do see your comment. Nick, I will post the uh, single dose mod at the end of the video. Uh, I will put the link in the description below. All right. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a swirl and a taste. Yeah, a little acidic on that one. Uh, definitely need to pull a little bit more. Um, it's a little sour, but really nice. It just shows you how much this tool actually helps, especially when you want to buy this grinder for at-home use and you want a single dose. Now, you could buy this grinder, fill the hopper, and yes, it's gonna work beautifully, but do you really wanna fill the hopper as opposed to keeping it in a vacuum-sealed container, a bag, Right now, you're gonna be more exposed to the elements sitting inside of this. Air's just gonna get through there and it's really gonna still make your coffee more stale quicker. So I would definitely suggest a single dose mod for the Atom 75. I've been using it for a while now and I just think that uh, it's beneficial in many ways. All right, so let me just clean off this portafilter. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and dose out 18 grams again. I wanna thank everyone for tuning in. If you guys can like that video, it really helps me out tremendously. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm gonna start doing some more live videos like I've been doing here. And I'm also going to be intermixing it with an edited video as well. All right, so here we go. That's 18 grams in. And let's see how many grams we get out. Like I said, you might have to run it a little bit longer. without using the bellows. We are at 14.7, so even worse than last time. Um, use the bellows, and you can see, I'll zoom in, you can see just how much actually comes out when I do this, it's insane. Look at all that come out, crazy amount. So now we're at 17.8, so exactly 0.2 grams back from where we were the last time. So pretty consistent. You're going to lose roughly 0.2 grams every time you single dose mod with the Atom 75, but the benefits is really fast grinding. Uh, you're going to get really good quality shots with the Atom and uh, just overall benefits. Uh, it's going to be a lot more beneficial than the the 2.2 grams off every time, in my opinion. All right, so we're gonna distribute and use our Bose tamper. 
All right, so here we have a compressed puck once again. And I'll just show you the shot here. Put the scale under. I'll be consistent here. And here we go. Shot's looking much better than the last one. Coming out a little bit slower, which is what we want. Trying to hit a one to two in about 28 to 30 seconds. Uh, looks like it's gonna be still a little fast. Trying to get about 36 grams out. So we got about 37 grams out in about 28 seconds. So 27, 28 seconds. So that's a pretty good shot. I would probably make a little bit more of a micro adjustment. So I would just kind of turn that like that. That would be a perfect shot. Um, so I guess you get to see kind of a dial in as well. So here is how the shot looks. Adam 75 really does a great job as a flat burr creating that really nice texture, clarity, and pretty much everything you would desire in a home espresso machine. So let me go ahead and turn this over. Welcome to the channel, everybody. All right. And here we go. We're going to give it a nice little taste test. Cheers. Super good. I would definitely think that the ratio on this coffee needs to be a little bit more. So I probably want to suffer a little bit of texture, um, a little bit of body and texture to get a little bit more clarity out of it. So I may even do a one to 2.5 or a one to three, uh, just so you get a little bit more tech or uh, clarity like I spoke about. Really good, smooth cup of espresso. First one was a little bit sour, but this video is all about this single dose mod right here. Super easy to install, just take the original hopper off, place this in. Uh, it's got the single dose brew logo on the cap. Uh, as far as quality goes, quality is really nice. The bellows is made out of a really nice rubber, silicone rubber. Uh, this is more of like a 3D print. Uh, both of these are, but really nice. They come together well. It looks nice. It doesn't look uh, too big, too small, and I think the quality is there. So I really think that you're going to really enjoy this single dose mod. Again, I will post the link down in the description below at the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, please ask them now. Uh, also, I appreciate each and every one of you. The channel has been up for about three years now and we just hit over 20,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate each and every one of you out there. The coffee community family has been absolutely amazing. And if it wasn't for all of you guys being so nice and so um, heartfelt all the time, I probably wouldn't have started my own company, Brewhead Espresso, uh, but because of you and you guys have shown your love to cough, for coffee to me, uh, it kind of rubbed off. So um, I absolutely love doing what I do. And the single dose brew grinder is, or Bellows is really good. I definitely would do it. Like I said, it was sent to me for free. However, I do give my absolute honest opinions every time. If I didn't like it, I would tell you, trust me. But it's not to say that I don't like this hopper for the Atom 75. It's just at home, you don't really want to fill this thing up because even if it takes you three or four days to go through a full hopper or even a half hopper, the coffee is going to suffer quality just by sitting inside of this plastic. So I would definitely recommend the single dose as well, as well as cleaning. I mean, cleaning, if you clean your grinder, um, if you only have this, it's going to be really hard to get those grinds out of the grinder. As you saw, I put it in there a couple times and we only got 0.5 grams out. I bellowed it out and we got about 2.8 more grams back out. So I definitely would suggest just buying that even if you didn't use it and you had owned a cafe at the end of the day, take that single dose bellows and bellows the rest of that coffee out because that next event now 
you can just go ahead and start fresh, put this back in there and you're good to go. So it's almost got multifunctional use. So I would suggest buying that if you have an Atom 75, uh, even if you have a coffee cart or a coffee company, uh, definitely would suggest that as well. So again, I wanna thank each and every one of you guys. I don't think there's any questions. Here we go. We have one question from Nick. How does it compare with the official Eureka blow hopper? So that's a great question. I don't actually have their blow hopper. I'm assuming it would probably be uh, pretty close. I just know that with their hopper, it is a huge hopper. So you're gonna be able to actually fill way more than a single dose inside of the hopper. Whereas this, I mean, I wouldn't just store a lot of coffee inside of this bellows if you, if you, know, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but it's really nice. I think the quality is really nice. The quality is there. The lid kind of seems on the little bit of the cheaper side, but that's okay. I mean, it's not too, too bad. So like for instance, uh, this part right here on the cap comes off, but it's meant to, it's meant to be like 3D printed to fit on there. So I'll just put this on really quick. So you just heard it snap in, it snaps in like this. I just worry that if you're bellowing every time or pushing on it, I just feel like this may break. However, the DF64 cap lids work, and also I make homemade wooden ones, so you can find these on my Etsy page, but they fit right into the bellows as well, and now you have a custom wood top for your bellows. So really nice, I think that it, they're multi-purposeful, like I said, for cleaning, single dosing, which is intended for single dosing, but it allows for cleaning, easier cleaning as well. Um, again, I wanna thank everyone. I wanna thank Brent from Good Brothers Coffee for uh, helping us out and always sending us the best and top-notch espresso or coffee beans in general. And uh, I just appreciate everyone. Hope you guys have a great Merry Christmas and I will catch you guys in my next video. Stay caffeinated.